what's going on guys all right so i'm feeling very much like back in the days as a brand new agent right hair crazy i've been working all day at the office ran home it's raining a little bit outside um we have three days well not even we have two days left before the end of the month i'm trying to hit a goal right so Ran in, made sure that the kid is eating. Hubby's on the road working. And we want to make sure he wasn't eating oodles and oodles, right? He's like a football star about to be. And the baby want to eat oodles and noodles whenever he's home. So I had to run out and make sure he ate the good food that's going to be nourishing to his body and soul. <clears throat> it's late. Um, it's like 7.40. So I like ate dinner real quick myself. And now I'm in my room because he's out there and he's playing on the PlayStation. He hardly ever gets to play on it. So I'm like, you go ahead. I'm going to go in my room, sit on the bed and make calls. So I didn't want to be too far just in case, um, you know, he calls me or whatnot. So I didn't want to go upstairs and sit on a nice chair and all that. I'm sitting on the bed. Okay. But you got to do what you have to do, right? So I have these leads and I want to call through them and actually set some appointments. And for those that have been following me for a long time, you already know that I have been like hiring and training and doing all those things for years. And now I'm like, I have a big financial goal and we make more money writing our own business, right? Writing business. So I am now producing, super excited. And um, just got a big goal. So. I'm like, I got to go back and do what I did in the beginning, which was hustle and grind and, um, you know, do all the things. So got a couple leads. Um, I don't even know how many I, I pulled in here. I'm going to call a few of them. I'm going to try to set, we're going to set um, at least five appointments for tomorrow. That's the goal. So excuse me while I burp because I did just like wolf down my food. We just go keep it real. Hopefully you can hear it. And I always write down the day, the date, and the time that I'm writing that I call. <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Susan? Who's calling? This is Christine giving you a call back here. Um, you had requested some information online earlier today for life insurance. You looking just for yeah. yourself? No. No, I didn't. You no, did I not? Didn't. Okay. No. Well, what I have that your birthday is 9 1959 Okay, so she hung up on me. Of course, that's part of the business. I'm going to call her back. All right, so she hung up again. I will send her a text tomorrow. So she says she didn't. Oh, well, it's fine. She's local. We'll go door knocker. And this one. And I'm not door knocking her because I am not a field agent. Well, I'll be in the field if I have to set an appointment in the field. But you have reached 724. All right. So I'm going to call her back. And what I was going to say is I'll, um, I can give it to one of my agents. You have reached 724-699-3664. Please leave, leave a message. Thank you. I'm not leaving her a message either because I want to get through these calls. So I am calling twice. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. I don't remember if I called them twice. I'm going to call again. I 
I'll leave a voicemail. She's older. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Four, one, two, five is not available. At the tone, please record your message. <sighs> when you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a callback number, press five. Hello, Kim. This is Christine, uh, the local field underwriter, giving you a call here regarding the insurance information you requested earlier today. Uh, you can call me back directly at 412-609-6264. Again, that number is 412-609-6264. Just need to confirm some information that was submitted today. Um, and you did put your birthday as December 27, 1951. Look forward to speaking with you soon. Bye-bye. So I spoke a little slow because she's older. Please leave your message for... Ring once, her voicemail. Please leave your message for Linda Garrison. Hi, Ms. Linda. This is Christine. I'm just giving you a call back here regarding this um, insurance information you requested earlier today. I'm not sure if you were looking just for yourself or for you and your family. You did put down your birthday as January 22nd, 1963, and you're right here at West Mifflin, PA. You can call me directly at 412-609-6264. Again, that number is 412 609 Six two six four. Um, and we'll try you back again uh, tomorrow. Hope you're doing well. Talk to you soon. Bye bye. So I'm gonna hit pause until I get somebody on the phone. So you're not just listening to me now. Oh. Hey, it's Christine giving you a call back here regarding this insurance information you requested. How are you? What insurance information? I well, requested? I'm not sure. So it was online earlier today, and some individuals uh, were I looking. Said I didn't have it. Uh, I says I don't have Medicare. Okay. No, 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 not the Medicare. So you did a survey? Okay. Okay. So this is for either regular life insurance or final expenses. No, I didn't want that either. I'm fine with that. Okay. So were you looking for a final expense? Nope. You're looking for Nothing. Medicare? Nope. Oh. Nothing. Okay. You got bad information. Well, is your birthday 11? Well, we got the same birthday. 11, 29, 55? Yeah, but I'm not on Medicare. Well, no, sir, this isn't for people on Medicare. So online, I don't know if you did a survey or what you filled out, but a request came in to me to go over some form of life insurance with you. So were you well, looking- The request was sent to you incorrectly. Okay, all right, my dear. So you got everything in order? Yep. Um, like that, was anybody else in the home that need any coverage? No, we're good. All right, honey, Thank I'll you. get you marked off, Dawn. You're welcome, have a blessed mm -hmm. night. You Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. One thing is nice about having a whole bunch of leads is you don't have to push or pressure anyone. So we got the same information. I will, I will send out a postcard to the home. They may see something on there and they're like, oh yeah, you know what? I do want to know about that and call. It won't hurt, but I will close it out. I won't harass anyone. I never will harass anyone. Because I don't want anybody harassing me. All right. And while I'm talking to you guys, I hit mute just in case they pick up. I'm like, what are you talking about? Please leave your message. For so I'm going to call again. I'm ringing two times. The last guy didn't answer until the second ring, so I'm calling twice. And I'm calling a variety of leads. Like I have no clue if you know what they filled out. Don't care, don't matter. It's like insurance. Don't overthink it. 
Please leave your message for Billy Collins. All right. So I'm hit pause until I get somebody else on the phone. Was this some information earlier for life insurance? Were you looking just no, for you? No, I didn't. Okay. Take my, take my name off of your, off your well, list. I don't have a list, so I don't do any um, telemarketing. Uh, this just came in earlier today, and you, the birthday says 3 11 1961. Is that correct? You know what? Hang yeah. on. Yeah. You said hang up? <laughs> Miss Linda. <laughs> They be pissed off. What? Honey, I'm not a telemarketer. I'm sorry. You sound very frustrated today. This was just in regards to some insurance. So you didn't fill out a form online today? No, I did not. Okay. Well, let me just get this updated in my system. Um, what happens whenever you guys, if you ever fill out like a survey or something at the bottom of those forms, it tells you that it might be sent to multiple people. So I apologize. I don't mean to uh, make you upset. Okay. I'm just trying to do my job. And that was just to verify. Any of your questions. Well, I don't have any questions. I don't have any questions. I have all the information from what you put online. I was just trying to let you know. Anything online. Okay. <laughs> poor baby poor thing she's like I didn't do anything they do stuff all the time I'm still going to send her a postcard all right on to the next so and I'll talk to you guys about internet leads in a minute because you just got to have a heart for what you're doing your call has been forwarded to especially if you're dealing with web leads. So hang tight and I'll explain that shortly. Your call has been forwarded to All an right. automated voice messaging system. So we're going to keep it moving. And that lady, she answered after the third call. And I thought it was like a fax machine. A lot of time people are phone gangsters as well. You go to their house, they're like sweet as pie. Sometimes you go to their house and they're mean too. It's just part of the part of the business. Again, so if you do not have a heart for people, you won't make it in this. Your call has been forwarded to an auto Especially if you allow like a call like that to throw you off your game. And what happens is new agents They'll get that and then they'll be like, oh my God, I'm not going to call anybody else. It must be too late. Or you start getting in your head and start overthinking. Don't. Just don't. Just make the calls. Talk to the people. Help the folk that you're supposed to help. And keep moving. All right. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message. So I'm going to hit pause again. I'll be back as soon as I get another person on the phone. All right. So I went ahead and called back through the same um, leads. <clears throat> there was about 20 leads total that I had um, set aside to make calls. Did not get any appointments set for tomorrow based out of these calls. So as I was saying a little bit ago, um, the mindset that you need to have when you are calling internet leads. Let's think about the internet. Let's think about social media. When you are on social media and you start liking on things or if you fill out a survey or anything at all, what starts to happen? The algorithms start to show you more of the same type of things, right? So when you get, um, if you're buying internet leads, especially those that are like instant leads and they're from the internet, the best time to call those leads are like right away, okay? Or a month later. <laughs> So I say that because when those clients are sitting on their phone, browsing and clicking, that one ad is not the only ad they clicked on. And if it is, a lot of times what they're not doing is they're not reading. So at the bottom of that survey where it says, if you click the submit to get a free quote, it does have down there in like this small print that they're going to basically 
give that information to multiple agents or agencies. Excuse me. So that's why if you get somebody on the phone and says, I've already talked to somebody, take me off the list. Stop calling me. That's what's going on, especially with a new lead. Like these leads I just got today and they were from today. So I already know that there was going to be multiple people that had already called them because these came in earlier today. I was not able to call them right away because I was already on the phones doing presentations, right? And that's fine. I have no problem with it. I've been here long enough to understand the process as well as I'm going to send out a postcard. I will send out a letter. I will follow up again in about a week, right? And that's doing your, your business. That's working the lead. It's not just allowing somebody to tell you no on the phone or not answer or hang up on you and think that lead was worked. That lead was not worked. They're frustrated today, clearly, right? And I'm glad you were able to hear somebody going off, hanging up. You saw me call them back and just try to help her understand what was going on. Even though today she didn't want to hear it, I will call her back. <laughs> okay, not today. Um, but I will be giving her a call back because my job is simply just to, to give her the information she was looking for. And a lot of times what happens is these people will not even get what they want because they're frustrated with the process. All right. So you as agents, don't be frustrated um, of the process. And if you are somebody who's looking for life insurance, understand that this happens. Um, it makes it hard for us agents that really want to just help you because now you don't want to answer the phone or answer any questions. Um, but, you know, unfortunately, a lot of these uh, lead vendors and those are people that are, you know, gathering the information to be able to get you the help. They're sending them to so many other companies to, to try to help you. All right. So that's what happens. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, but it's been an amazing day. So, um, I'm just checking. I just sat down on my bed with snacks and papers. <laughs> All right. So I'm looking at my phone because a young lady reached out to me today on social media. So agents, make sure that you are posting on your social media. Make sure people know what it is that you do. Uh, make sure that they understand that you're human, you're a person, that you're not just work, 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 but you have a family if you have one, uh, that you like to have fun. Because people like to do business with people that they like and that are like them. All right. So this lady reached out to me. To, actually, I had three people reach out to me online on um, social media today. One needed to cover her children. Um, another lady uh, wants to cover her mother and her herself and her children. And then the last one was a husband and wife, right? All social media. So while I'm ordering my leads and waiting for them to come in, I had, you know, uh, conversations with individuals that needed to protect their family. And one thing that I will say that is such a blessing is the fact that I can shop around. So being able to help a whole family, even individuals that may have some pre, well, that have pre-existing conditions, like, let's not say may, they absolutely have pre-existing conditions that I am still able to get them a day one benefit, right? I may, I just love, love, love that. I love that. I've always been very big in customer service, as well as just wanting to make sure that I'm able to help people with a product that makes sense and that's, um, you know, that's, that fits their budget, okay, because that's important. Over the weekend, I had a, um, a nice young lady come up to my office because over the phone, she was like, you know, it, it, everything just wasn't making sense. She had several people that had called her. And um, she uh, she had a policy that was started, but she didn't even understand what she had. So it was a nice thing that, to do it in person as well, because I was able to tell her exactly what kind of policy she had. And then just from um, us having conversation and asking her, like, what else does she have? Um, does she have a mortgage? How was she making payments on the mortgage? Does she have anything else set up? And here she was making extra payments on the mortgage, right? Now, granted... A lot of financial gurus will say, yeah, you need to, um, you need to, um, pay extra on your mortgage, you know, put it on the principal and things like that. And absolutely, that is a great idea. However, most, we don't know, none of us know when we are going to pass away. And if you are putting an extra one, two or $300 extra on that mortgage, 
Do you know how much additional life insurance you can take out that in the event, God forbid, you pass away within the, the one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15 years, that money is going to be way more than what you are paying into that principal. So I gave an example to the young lady that I was talking to and I looked at, um, let me just get my calculator. So she was doing like an extra 200 bucks, right? And she's an older lady. She's in her seventies. Okay. So yeah, I believe she's in her seventies. So she's doing 200 bucks. I'm like 200 times 12 is $2,400, right? Times that by 10, it's 24,000. But we were able to use that 200 and actually get like 40,000, 50,000 whole life. I was like, okay, so that's going to pay what you need for the home. And there's going to be extra because her house, she didn't, she doesn't owe a whole lot for the house. And you're going to have extra for, um, you know, your son or your daughter, your kids, right? So sometimes it makes more sense to put that extra money into an insurance policy or even into an investment policy that that way, say after 30 years, you're still here kicking and screaming. Life is great. You can then, and you already have regular life insurance too. You could take the money that you put into that plan, cash it out and all is good, right? Or you can allow it to continue to grow, but that money is being taken out tax-free. So many different options now that if you're still pretty healthy, and at a nice uh, age, you need to understand and learn what is available for you. I am here to help you with that process. Uh, I've talked to people and found out that, listen, they were in the best situation already. And there is no problem with that, right? So definitely tap in. My number is 412-609-6264. Um, send me, you can go to the website and schedule an appointment or just send me a text message, matter of fact. 412-609-6264. Literally takes me about five minutes to figure out where we could put you to see if it even makes sense to get you the best program at the best price based on your individual need. You want to take care of them grandkids or children 17 and younger. You can make them babies financially free 30, 40 years later. And it's not going to cost you a lot of money to do it. There are plans that are set up to help us leave legacies and not debt. And I'm not just talking about these term life insurance policies, although there's a few that are pretty good too. Those return of premiums, that's what makes sense, right? If you live past the 30 years, get all your money back or better yet, have a reduced paid up policy. I just did one today where it's $100,000 for them for 30 years. Day one coverage, they pass away next week, God forbid, it's 100000 30 years later, they're still here. They're going to get all of their money back. Or for that example, that um, reduced premium was like $65,000. But that's a $65,000 plan that they do no longer have to make a payment. It is set in stone until they die. That's what makes sense. Especially 30 years older, you're going to be older. You might have some pre-existing conditions. You may be on a fixed income. In most cases, that's what it is. And you don't want to have to pay any payments. You will be done. And your family will be set and protected. So, Christine, Austin L., excuse me. You know I've been eating and running and rushing. So, I, I got a little, the burps are coming out. So, forgive me. And I'm not going to edit the video. It is what it is. No makeup on. It is what it is. Why got my lips still? Christine Austin L. 412-609-6264. Keeping it raw, real, and relevant on today. So hopefully you guys um, learned something today. Tune in. Next time, make sure you subscribe. Hit the button. Put your comments down below. I will definitely um, respond. And yeah, tomorrow's a new day. I look forward to it. Um, looking for like hat tricks. Hat tricks are, I want to help three families per day minimum. Like that's what I'm looking to do. I want to serve my community and beyond the community because I am able to help people in every state. So that's beautiful. But I'm out. It's 25 minutes. I need to go get my nails done. Go soak my feet. And yeah, get me a little nice hot glass of tea. <laughs>